So as many of you guys know, we've had X Factor running backs basically, I wouldn't say ruin the position, but oversaturate the position to where everybody was just using Flash, Gus the Bus, and Derrick Henry. But now we have some new guys in the game and they fixed the theme team remix cards. This should be a fun video. All right, so as many of you guys know, with these theme team remix cards, they have been broken now for three weeks. This was a three week promo and now on the third week drop, so the last day of this drop, they finally fix it and they do drop a new one as well. So that's the one we'll be testing out today just because he's new. But when we look at all these cards, now we have so many other usable running backs because it was just Flash. It was literally only Flash and Gusta Bus you saw out there. Now we have Jeff Wilson, Javante, Pacheco, who is getting a golden ticket, by the way. This card's probably better than his golden ticket sucks to say but he is eric dickerson the madden 20 legend and Najee. but as you guys know they just added it it's called it's a new one now it's called uh where's it freight train charge now which is basically just a normal x factor they had to go in and fix it i don't know something was wrong with it but we have it on the new one and i am excited man it gives us a different style of running back to use so the one thing with Najee, he probably is one of the worst ones i would say because he is only 98 speed but i will say i did use him yesterday and i didn't even look at his speed until i like the stream told me he was 98 speed he played amazing for me so on paper this card is really good but when we look at Najee, he is six foot two 230 but the only reason why we're here is because like i said the theme team remix cards they did fix them there are three of them right so there's this broken one that has been on the cards the last three weeks then there's the normal one and then there's the charged one so they had to add a third one and i, I guess they couldn't code this broken one out the game but Najee is here he has we have two ap on him one using on the uh the x factor we got a tank we got evasive on him this has been one of the more fun cards i've used it's it's fun changing up your cards. It always is. I know you guys are stuck in your flash, but go try out Javante. Go try out Najee, Eric Dickerson. It'll be more fun in the game for you. But in today's video, we'll showcase this Najee card. Let's get into a game and show you guys how fun it is to use different ones. All right, boys. So we officially get into the game. And I just want to say, like I said, the one thing with me is, that especially this time of the year, is I like to change up what cards I use. And Najee has been phenomenal for me. I wish I saved some of the clips. I probably could go in my stream VOD for yesterday from Twitch. He's been insane. Did also get to use Javante Williams and Pacheco as well, but that was before the X Factor here, so I'm gonna have to go back and try them again because the X Factor obviously makes the running back 10 times better. And look at Najee. He has the fast juke as well. He is 230 pounds. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this card on paper obviously looks like one of the worst being 98 speed, but he's great also do have another x factor on dave casper for whatever reason dave casper is number 23 as well that is him right there he has that vanguard on him too which is the same ability as gronk and you guys could see man it just makes the game easier I, you guys know i'm not the biggest of a runner but when i can have the game be easier at my side with the x factor we're gonna do it even it opens up the passing game as well if you think about it because they can't guess pass on you and it, you guys know when somebody guesses pass it basically makes the the db fire or the spinner blitz a little bit better it goes around the running back but let's see if we'd have a nice little play we got to keep this guy a little honest right we've been running every single play I do think we're going to see more and more and more and more Eric Dickerson's though. I think he's going to be the most popular choice out of the theme team remix cards. And it looks like this guy is kind of getting used to me. I mean, like you, you're never scoring there with a normal running back. No golden ticket running back is doing that for you. Not even Daniel Flaley when he comes out is doing that for you. He just broke two tackles. Like I said, being 230 pounds and having good juke animations too. I think Najee's probably my favorite out of the group. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest out of the ones I've used. Yeah. Like this guy, he's still using Gus the Bus. The one thing that's good about Gus, though, is that he gets two zero AP abilities. But let's be honest, I don't think most of us boot up Ultimate Team to use Gus Edwards. You know, that's just, you know, it's a crazy guess right there. But I don't know. I've always been the guy that I want to use who I like. And now that we have like eight options to choose from, I, I don't know the exact number. There's five theme team remix cards. There's Gus the Bus, Derrick Henry, Flat. Yeah, yeah, there's eight, right? Eight, I don't know, unless I'm completely missing one. I think this is like a really, really good way to make the running back position a little bit more versatile. But the other, at the end of the day, it also does kill. It absolutely kills the golden ticket running backs because they're going to be useless compared to these cards. And Quadfather. I forgot about Quadfather too. Like nobody nobody boots up Madden to use like, you know what I mean? That's the, Maybe I'm the only one that feels it, unless you're like a Packers fan or something. But you guys could see Najee without the X Factor. We're averaging, I mean, this has been insane. All you got to do is come out in the formation that you've been in all game and then hit him with a random quick snap and then boom, you have everything wide open. And okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. That should have been a pick. He doesn't have pick artists on that guy. The thing I am confused about though is how is Dave Casper back activated, but Najee isn't, right? Shouldn't they be on the same time scale there? Unless I have, unless they're one is six plays and one's five plays, I have no clue. But we're looking for a touchdown here, boys. And I think we're going to find Dave Casper. Oh, can we fight? No. Oh, it was only second down. 
I mistake that for third. Please pinch your line again. Pinching the line would help me so much here, and it looks like he's not going to do it on this play. Oh, we get stuck. We actually get stuffed with the running back in the run. That's my fault. I probably never would do that unless I'm trying to show off for a video. That's that's my fault, man. Hey, to be fair, his worst run of the game is the one that we needed the most, which kind of does suck, but it's all right, man. We already got to stop, so we're not in the worst place right now. I do got to get Debo out of here, too. My middle linebacker is substituted in, and it looks like he's throwing it over the middle. He had 20 years in that pocket. We got to blitz this guy. This is a guy you blitz. I've seen enough. This is 100% a guy you blitz in this game right now. We got to send the heat at him, and hopefully... Hopefully we can get to the home and hopefully he just forces a bad read because we have all these uh, acrobats everywhere and stuff. Yeah, you just got to blitz this guy. This is what I want to see. I'd rather play tight than I'd rather play bunch at this stage of the game. I feel like tight, I have most plays on lockdown. Not all of them, but you guys can see that's why having the X Factor running back's good. This guy has not ran the ball at all yet. I guess pass right there. So the play action, my guy runs for the quarterback. It's, it's so easy one thing though is like i just said earlier in the video the one thing is with the x factor running back is yeah it humbles people you can't really guess pass if you're running the ball as well you know what i mean if you're just a 99 percent passer people can guess pass at you every single play but we're sending the heat right here again man he needs to block somebody out here and he's gonna be on out of here man hey ggs let's get into another one i wanted to get another game but it looks like we're gonna be playing against three through five wide as you guys know is probably the best or one of the best run defenses of the game five down linemen right there makes it a little tough but we're gonna try our best you know to mix in a little bit of a run actually just gonna quick snap this on third and ten i don't think he's gonna be ready for the verticals again yeah the one i ran this defense last year there's a lot of holes in especially this year I always like this defense last year because you always had really good run defense but they, yeah like the seams are terrible in it there's a lot of bad things but there's a lot of good things out of it too but look at Najee harris already breaking tackles he's gonna help even against the good drundies I'm not too sure if it's going to do too well with the counter against us. I feel like this is almost like guaranteed a tackle for loss, but you truly never know in this game. And yeah, never mind. Yeah, like I said, you truly never know. You just got to take and run and running the ball can sometimes give you miracles like that. I didn't even have to do anything right there. Najee didn't even go touch with five down linemen. And we're already getting ourselves another rage quit. So in the third game, we already got to stop. This opponent is actually probably one of the, like, he's actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It got, it took all basically the first quarter to get that stop. And he just whipped us a quick little babe, interception. We'll take it. I like this. This is a guy you want to control the clock against, especially if you get the ball a half and you already have a stop. This is an, uh, if you can kind of chew the clock out, it can consider be, be an easy win, but it's not going to be easy when he has good run defense too. We want the dollar right here. I would love to run, but we got to quick snap this and just look for the easy read. And boom, we'll pick up the first down every single time with Steve Smith. It is tough because dollar, you could just pinch and then uh, shade inside with your D-line. I think that's what he might do right here. But we'll see if Najee can kind of counter this. And you guys know, he's already going to dominate. He dominates no matter where you put him against. We got that two clock on. You guys can see we are milking that clock a little bit here. But let's see if we can score right away. I feel like we have to, right? But right there, he stops us. We're running the ball well now, though news is, is we did get him back into a four down lineman look so Najee you can tell is Kevin a little bit of influence on the game as he's already out of dollar boys we're quick snapping this man I kind of want to pass the ball in this play we're gonna have a wide open Dave Casper and we're inside the tent so he can't call timeouts now and get the ball back but it's all right with us all right Najee punch it in I'm okay with you scoring right here Najee if you get it yeah I'm okay with that I, we burned a lot of clock right there that's all right no timeouts burned but you know we're already in a good spot no matter what so we actually have this guy in a really tricky spot already, boys. On a third and four, he's already burnt a lot of that clock out at 30 seconds. He hasn't called a timeout when he completed a pass. And he hasn't completed much yards on a pass either. And we have another KO right here. So yes, leaving a little bit of time on the clock can sometimes benefit you like here. Yo, we are hard flatting on the left. Let's see what he does right here. Ah, uh, he had a good throw over the middle, but another timeout burnt right there. Even if he gets three, I'm in a very comfortable spot. Like I said, I'm okay with him getting three. He's already in field goal range, but just do not let him get seven. Seven is like where it becomes more of an even matchup right then and there. But we're, hey, he's actually out of field goal range, I believe now, right? I don't even think anybody can hit this kick. Here we go, boys. I don't know what I'm running. I'm not the biggest fan of this defense, but we're trying to play sidelines a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Just hopefully nothing crazy happens. I feel like I have to blitz one side at least. I just feel like with this defense, I have to, right? And he's running a bomb, and there we go. We hold him to zero. Perfect way to end the half. Now that we're playing with the 7-0 lead, anything with any points of coming away from this drive, we almost basically win the game, right? I don't know. That's not always the case, but... In most cases, it is, especially when your offense is playing pretty well. Boys, let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. He has not guarded this once yet this game. I feel like I got to keep throwing it to humble him, right? Or get him out of it. 
I don't know if he's gonna put a hard flat over there soon or what he's gonna do, but let's see if this counter could pry us up something open. We haven't really had a good run yet in a while, right? And look at Najee, man. He feels shifty too for being 230 pounds. Any of them, but if I, like I said, if I had to pick one like and sweat with, it would be either be Najee or probably uh, probably Eric Dickerson, but I'm just kind of bored of Flash and all those guys, right? I know a lot of people probably are as well. I don't know. You guys have been using that card for how long now? It's like, I get so bored of using cards. Like, I'm so bored of Rodgers right now, but I don't have any tokens for my golden tickets. I feel like we're playing really well this game. It's kind of been like a very controlling game of Madden. Like, we have clocked this game really well, but we're running the ball well with Najee, even without the X Factor, too. Well, I mean, we're probably going to clock this entire quarter as well. It's been a great game of clocking. It's been insane. I, I, I usually never do this, but against a good player, I feel like I have to, especially when we're doing a running back gameplay too. It just fits. Najee, carry us to the promised land. Put the dagger in this game right now, Najee. Najee with the dagger, baby. I don't know if you consider that a dagger, but the way our offense is playing... It's the dagger. And he also doesn't have any points on the board. It's for probably the dagger. Right, boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Najee dominated. This video wasn't only about Najee. It was basically telling you guys that there are other running back options. You can have more fun in the game. You don't have to use Flash Gus. There are now other options. I know the X Factor a lot of people do hate, but there are more, there are more options for you to choose from. Have some more fun and have some more versatility in that position. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, get some good cards coming up for Ultimate Legend. We'll get those gameplays out in the morning, and I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.